everyone wow my hair i just brushed it <clears throat> why do i always start with such a like deep i don't say masculine but i don't sound masculine but like a deep voice i'm so sorry okay so today we're doing our second to last pair of earrings and i was super excited about these they're these black hearts these are so cute all right so Today we're doing our January favorites video. Are you surprised? Not really. So I've recently done, I think, two favorite videos last year. And I think it's something I want to start continuing on the channel. <clears throat> I'm thinking that I want to start getting into more um, basic beauty guru content. So like slays and nays or yosses or passes whatever you prefer to call them um i also want to do obviously like my favorites at the end of the month and then other than that my makeup videos are pretty much going to be whatever i like okay these are cute they don't really stand out probably because you have black hair moisa maybe maybe why so this month we have a few items that I really enjoy. So the first thing I want to talk about is my L'Oreal Concealer. I think this was my favorite in another video. Um, I always go back and forth between my BH Concealer and my L'Oreal Concealer. I haven't found anything that's better than these two products for my skin tone in particular. So I'm really curious if 2021 will be kind of like the year that I find a new concealer. I don't really have a favorite sort of, what's that thing called again? Foundation for the year. So I'm just gonna blend this in as my foundation and then we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So I look a little bit orange, but that's just how this product kind of works until it oxidizes. So what I really like about the L'Oreal concealer is just that it's so full coverage so if you're looking for something with more full coverage if you want to like sort of hide a lot of flaws i definitely do recommend this product it has more of a reddish orangey undertone but that's just most drugstore products i've heard so um beware obviously i'm looking more orange than normal right now in person it doesn't look too severe but i do have a studio light on me so it's going to be more exaggerated than a typical outside wear product so my next product i don't believe i have anything super new for brows that i've been trying so my favorite brow product right now is the addictive cosmetics brow powder and this powder is actually a etsy store so if you ever want to support addictive cosmetics they are on etsy they aren't their own website or anything like that but i've been using this for probably half a year now and I really just like how strong it can make my brows look with less work than a pomade or pigment would actually do okay brows on so this is what I mean about this product it is my favorite but it is also the strongest brow product that I own so every time I wear I do look a little bit crazy I'm aware I don't need judgment thank you um but I really do like this product I just feel as though if you have even a light hand using this product it doesn't lighten like it's there or there you know so if you want to try out this product i would recommend be careful i would also recommend getting a shade lighter i got black i feel like i should have got a dark brown or something just because of how strong this pigment powder is all right so hair is tied up because we're going into our next product and so this next product that i wanted to highlight is the saharan palette by juvia's place so when it came to choosing my favorite palette of the month it was really hard because obviously i've been recording a lot um since in january and since i have so many makeup products that i've tried it was really hard to sort of pick my favorite palette of the month and the reason i ended up choosing this palette was because i really wanted to choose a juvia's palette i kept looking at my pink palette but i was like i can't do many looks with it but then I looked at this palette and I was like, I can do many looks with it. So I wouldn't say this palette is the favorite, but I would say Juvia's Place 
eyeshadows this month has been my favorite if you want to know my most used palette of the month my most used palette of the month is my james charles palette hands down even when i do other looks i always pull that as a side so i can have more options when i'm doing my makeup so yeah for right now juvia's place is my favorite eyeshadow palette brand whatever you prefer to call it of the month so let's quickly just do a look i also forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video but my favorite primer right now is the hard candy mattifying primer as you all know i'm a big hard candy fan it's one of those drugstore brands that work really really well and is super inexpensive and so i just wanted to give a shout out to my favorite primer of the month all right so we have a makeup look we also have a surprise for the end of the video. There's also apparently a tree being cut down outside, so I'm super sorry you're going to be hearing that for like the rest of this video. It's been happening since 11 a.m. It is currently three in the afternoon and it's a big tree. The tree is like double the height of my house, okay? I don't know. So basically this is the look I did. I want to try to experiment more because Jasmine keeps calling me out on it every time we talk and i don't appreciate it so okay cool so up next let's talk about my favorite blush of the month my favorite blush right now is the nyx sweet cheeks it's the only blush i own but i really like it i like the formula i like the pigmentation i just like the little hint of color that it brings to my cheeks and it's super affordable so anyone who's looking at drugstore products can always afford a product like this I definitely need to change my outfit for this look because I feel like if I did a photo, it just, the classy dress with like the edgy makeup is just not a vibe together. So I might change outfits for the end of this video. So up next, let's do my favorite highlighter. So we're back to Colored Rain. This was my first favorite highlighter after my Laura Geller one. This is probably my most favorite most beloved eyeliner highlighter my aunt's here love this for me okay but yeah this is my favorite highlight i just really like the product i like the glow it brings to me i like how easy it is i got this actually as an ipsy product in my first ever subscription box and it has been probably my favorite product ever since as soon as this finishes i'm definitely getting a new one so we are down to our last two products rude they are so rude okay so the next product is not a surprise it is the rare beauty eyeliner and i love this product i live for this product i use this product all the time off camera i use this product on camera it has literally become my go-to eyeliner for almost every look that i do I just really like the consistency of the pen, how very light it is. You don't have to force a stroke to like make sure that you have eyeliner. And it's just really, really reliable. I know it's a little bit more expensive than drugstore brands. If you're looking for drugstore, I do say NYX is always really good for eyeliner. But if you're looking to spend a little bit more, I do recommend the Rare Beauty eyeliner like a lot, like hands down. All right, so this is as good as the wings are gonna get. Okay, cool. So, our last product that is one of my favorites of this month is the Rare Beauty Lipstick. And this was really hard to choose because I don't use a lot of lip products. And the ones that I do are kind of all my faves. And I was going a lot between this Rare Beauty Lip Color as well as my Addictive Cosmetics Lip Gloss. But in the end, I decided to go with this product just because I really like the natural look that it brings me it gives me a little bit more pop without being a crazy color on me and i just really really like it if you want to support a small brand though i do recommend the addictive cosmetics lip gloss it's also on their etsy page all these products will also be linked down below i forgot to tell you all that but if you like any of these products or you want to try them out they are all linked down below all of these products i have been using for at least one month at this point uh wow almost two wow so they are really reliable and I do really stand by the products that I've chosen for today's video. All right, so now that we have this entire look done, I feel like I really need to change outfits. So much better. So basically, wow, I feel like the shirt really tied the look together. I'm wearing like this sort of meshy 
almost see-through top that I got at the store that was closing down like a few weeks ago. And I think this is super cute, especially with this earring. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> if you made it to the end of this video, let me share with you the big surprise that I was super excited about. So, so I've been talking about this for a month and here we are here we are here we are here we are wow love this for us so <laughs> today we're giving away my second bh cosmetic stellar collision palette i literally have one of my own that i use all the time let me show my palette so you know what colors are in here so this is what you'd be getting like so beautiful and this is a highlight and shadow palette so you'd also get a little bit of highlighter colors in here as well so if you want to win my second stellar collision palette um please down below what do i want you guys to do um down below please suggest any makeup videos that you would like to see me try to do in 2021 you can also hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed because it means so much to me and obviously as we get closer to 500 subscribers we get closer to our 500 subscriber giveaway i'm super excited i literally have written down exactly what i want for the 500 subscriber giveaway in my notepad and i'm just waiting for the day that we can manifest that giveaway as well but if you guys like me if you um like my makeup if you like what i do please join the fam so all you have to do down below is one comment a makeup video you would like to see me try to do in 2021 two hit that like button and three go like my latest instagram photo it should be this one right here I don't know which one it'll be. But yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone. Ew. Bye.